People were scared. And it was almost like they, they didn't know because there was a girl on the phone who had called and she was trying to tell her father, I don't know what this is, but we have to run, we have to run. He's terrified. He was lying down. We collected boys and curls remains all night. We held in our hands hundreds of people this, this night. And this is unbearable. It's a picture, you know, my, my grandmother uh, survived Auschwitz. These are pictures from Auschwitz. They were surrounded from all over and they say they started shooting from there and then they ran here and then they got shooting from here. One of them, he said, and that's the story that I want to tell you, he found a place to hide under a tank, an Israeli tank. He was hidden there with another 10 people. He is Druze, so he can understand them. And he had them saying one to the other, this woman killed, this woman kidnapped. Someone who burned this vehicle in the middle of the city, not, not, not other car. I, I was one of the one, one of, the. of the first teams that arrived here. Uh, suddenly, as I as I mentioned before, uh, we saw the first body under this uh, this car outside. So most of the cars here were burned. Here, you could see about 150. Yeah, this is the bodies. That bodies lying here. You can see by the fleas that the remains are still uh, are still here. And this was the beginning. Uh, and we started to to understand. They, they were still burning when yeah, you arrived? They were still burning. 